When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings, this is Kotobuki Jake coming to you solo this week, or I should say for this video. Um, I will be doing the celebrity send off video, tribute video, uh, like I said, solo this go round. Um, and it's a short one this week. Uh, fortunately, I suppose you could say it's uh, pretty short this week. So, um,. Let's go ahead and uh, take a couple, well, not even a minute. Look at the people on our side. She was living on couches that belonged to her friends. She would sleep with her feet and her shoes and you know for the ends. Looking over her shoulder, never knowing herself. I claim she could never fit in till somebody knew. Um, there are a couple of pretty notable ones this week, even though it was really short. And one of them actually doesn't fall within the usual time frame, but it was one of those ones that was reported a little bit late. And this is someone I had to talk about, so, um, forgive me for, you know, if you're like, get on with it. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Enjoying this scene. Get on with it! <laughs> uh, Koji Sujitani, a uh, Japanese voice actor, pretty big name in Japanese voice acting. He had a couple of different roles in several parts of the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise. He had a uh, a handful of throwaway roles, including an appearance on Maze Nakoku, greatest show ever. He uh, played uh, Takiwade Kuno in a couple of episodes, a few episodes of Ramo and Half, as well as a couple other roles. But the, and, and he had a key role in Tamako Market. But among the big roles, he played Solomon in Blood Plus, Ireton in Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water, Tyler in The Irresponsible Captain Tyler and Miroku in Inuyasha. He's like say he's a big dude. Fifty six, died of a stroke, supposedly was in great health. At least that's the, the early press I'm hearing is people are thinking, Well, he was in great health. So wow, this is kind of shocking, tragic death. Uh, 56 is still a good life. Like I said, he had a hell of a filmography, but he's still kind of young. And certainly young compared to everyone else on the list this week. Most of these people are, you know, 70s. Most of them this week, the 70s and 80s, or 70s and 90s, I should say. Um, there were a couple that I thought were of note. Uh, country singer Freddie Hart did some good stuff over the years. Ivan Cronenfeld. Uh, related by marriage to Dustin Hoffman, apparently. Uh, did not have very many acting roles, but they were notable. He was in Hannah and Her Sisters and Radio Days for Woody Allen and The Ice Storm for Ang Lee. And he apparently found a second wind as a, uh, he got a doctorate and he's, uh, I think he's like, does, uh, I think he's a psychiatrist if I read that correctly. I'm... I hope I got my information right on that, but it, it that's what it looked like. 
But the other big name in entertainment, James Karen, and this is particularly kind of hits a little close because we just did in, in Inside Movies Galore, we just in the last month or so, did Return of the Living Dead and Return of the Living Dead 2, both of which featured Karen in not entirely flattering roles, but amusing. Basically, he and this other, uh, I don't remember the other actor offhand, they each played different characters in the different movies, but they were both played like people who who knew each other were working well together at the beginning of the movie um karen had though i, I said sujitani had a hell of a filmography james karen had wow I, it was an impressive I, return of the living dead and return of the living two aside he was in poltergeist he was in wall street nixon apt pupil Mulholland drive 13 Days, The Pursuit of Happiness, Any Given Sunday. That's not a bad assortment of films. Not to mention a ton of TV appearances over the years. I want to say one of them was a Cheers appearance, but I didn't end up marking those down. His final movie appearance, there's one listed as in production. I don't know if he'll be in the final product or not. Apparently his final film appearance came out this year, and it looks like kind of a schlocky, low-budget horror. Um, it's called Cynthia. I'm intrigued by it, but I'm wary about it at the same time. But at any rate, Mr. Karen was 94. He, he, he had a good life. I mean, well, at least a long life, I should say. I didn't, but a long and productive one. So... Those two definitely, Karen and Sujitani, I wanted to make sure I did a video just to make sure they got a little bit of a shout out. Uh, like I said, it wasn't a long list this week. I will admit I was, I'm not hitting everyone we might have hit in the past because those lists got really long. Um, but even so, some of these people are people that probably are mostly not in American media, so um we like as I said we like to use this little video as a way to give them a little bit of uh further notice you know on their on their passing and um well that's it uh you know it's you know the usual drill like subscribe um let us know if there's anyone notable that we missed or I missed in this instance I guess you should say and um Hope you enjoy all the other, uh, we got a lot of Halloween week videos coming up, so I hope you enjoy them. And this is going to be one of the few that I'm doing from start to finish, including the editing. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> enjoy. Okay. Or, uh, again, that's probably the wrong send-off for this one, but, you know, we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.